Hello friends, I am Rajneesh and today in this section we shall understand how to configure an open LDAP server on Linux. First of all, install the package which is open LDAP servers. The second thing is let's come to the configuration directory. Here you will see that there is a file slabd.conf.back and one slabd.conf.linuxcbt is that I created. Let's remove it. Copy slabd.conf.back to slabd.conf.linuxcbts. So here the first thing that you can see is it consists of include and the schema name. So what are these schemas? These schemas consist of the object classes which in turn consist of the attributes. So finally if you are using an attribute which is phone number which is JPEG photo it would be present in some object class let's see and have a look at inet or person schema we will be more clear about it here is the schema and you can see that these are the attributes that it provide car license department number display name and the other things and this is the object class that it provides which is inet or person so in case you are including an object class inethod person in any of the entries or any of the entries you will be able to have access to all these attributes jpeg photo preferred language and employee type all these details so in if we are talking about the other words it in case you want to use the attribute employee type or jpeg photo you'll have to include the object class inet or person so this is the objective why we use schemas these schemas could be extended to provide support for sudo to provide support for send mail and the other details so here are the default schemas that it has provided allow bind v2 stay says that allow protocol LDAP v2 to access the details from the database from this directory database a referral in case this LDAP server is not able to fetch browse or provide the detail required details it could be sent to a different LDAP server which will effectively be sending the outputs PID file when the process starts where is the location where PID file is to be created args file consists of the additional arguments which are used when the LDAP or the slab D is started additional modules that could be loaded sync prof is a module that is used for the replication access log allows the addition of a new database to which all the logging will be done so effectively you will be seeing the logging inside the LDAP server itself it could be a separate subtree these are for password policy password caching last modification and we'll see the other details later on here are the three parameters that you could see certificate key file certificate file and CA certificate file which are used in case you are using LDAPs that is LDAP over SSL or TLS so right now we won't be using it we'll be using it later so first thing we have to do is we have to allow access to the database config so let's add it database config this is the default database which consists of all the configuration modules and uh, all the schemas that are loaded 
into the LDAP database. It should have a root DN associated with it which simply means that this will be the DN that will be able to do anything on config. It will be able to read, write or delete the details in config database. So root DN means the DN that has complete access to the database. So CN equal to manager comma CN equal to config has complete access to config database. So the third thing is we should provide some password to CN equal to manager comma C equal to config. Let's do it. Slap D is the command that is used for it. It will ask you for a password. Again ask you for a password. If both are tallied and are the same, it will provide you with an encrypted password which we could use over here. So these are the main three things. Database, root DN, root PW. The second thing is we have cre to create our own domains database. So for that suffix will be dc equal to linux cbts comma dc equal to com checkpoint root dn this is to be modified market as linux cbts you'll have to provide password let's keep it the same manager123 as we used for config it could be a diff it could be different but in that case you'll have to again use lab password and I would prefer to use a different one the directory in which we'll be storing these databases let's give it a name varlib ldap linux cbts copy it and we'll have to let's create one more session so let's create the directory for the database and let it be owned by LDAP user and group. Next we come to indexes. Equality means in case the object class is actually matching the attribute that we are searching for. For example, UID equal to manager should exactly meet the UID equal to manager. PRES means presence. For example, if we are searching for an object class equal to INET or person, it the result will be fetched and provided to us in case the object class INET or person exists for a particular attribute. The same is here. In case the surname exists. Presence means any of these attributes exist substring means for example we are searching for UID equal to Linux CBTs and we uh, send an LDAP search query to search out uh, for a UID where UID equal to Linux star so it will be able to fetch Linux 1, Linux 2 and Linux CBTs all this because we have indexed it on the basis of substring so indexing will be searching will be fast otherwise it could have been slower this is for the replication we'll see later on so right now just write and quit the second thing is in open ldap 2.4 the configuration itself is stored in ldif format under the directory slash etc open ldap slab d dot d here you can see 
we as we have modified it we'll just clean it up and recreate it from the file slabd.conf.linuxcbts that we have just modified so the syntax will be slab test minus small f the configuration file minus capital F slab d dot d directory and it gives us a warning that db config file is not present copy it locate it this file is provided by open ldap servers we we'll just copy it from there the permissions are corrected it should be owned by user and group LDAP and the permission of etc open LDAP slab d dot d should also be such that it's owned by user and group LDAP so let's try to start uh, let's test it once again and you can see that it succeeds so the configuration files slabd.conf.slab linux cbts have been converted into the format slabd.d let's fix the permissions once again and try to start the slabd and we are able to start it now let's try to look into the cn equal to config database so to look into the ldap directory database we have to use ldap search command which is presently not present because we have not yet installed the package open ldap clients let's install the package and we'll be able to ldap search add delete modify on the LDAP server. So LDAP search minus X simple authentication minus B base TN C and equal to config. We won't be able to fetch anything because we don't have anonymous access to it. So we will be binding to it using capital D C N equal to manager comma C N equal to config and minus W it will ask for password manager at one two three and here you can see the complete details of this cn equal to config subtree here is the monitor database which was present at the end in the last here is the database that is present corresponding to uh, Linux CBTs. DC equal to Linux CBTs, comma DC equal to com.